Where do I know you from? We went to high school together. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Who are you? You. You. Me. What's your name again? Isaac Fisher. Fisher, right. I sat beside you in civics. You were that kid, that, that fat kid that took up my chair. Right, Fisher. What happened to you? I lost 300 pounds. Oh, well, that, that's awesome. You used to be so massive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry we were so hard on you. You dumped Funyuns in my bag. Yeah. I don't even like Funyuns. Sorry. I'm sorry I took up your chair. Yeah. So how are you? Things are good? Things are great. You know, I'm working in stocks, making bank. I just bought a Camaro. Well, that's awesome. Jeff, you, things are good? Yeah. Good. You know, you really did lose a lot of weight. I never would have talked to you before, but now you're, like, more approachable, you know? Not just an intimidating force. Thanks? Yeah, you're welcome. You know, we're going to see uh, Skrillex later tonight. My sister knows his lighting guy, so she got us backstage passes. Well, have fun at that. Yeah, thanks. It's good seeing you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Be sure to talk with your healthcare team about what's safe for you. Your level of activity should be somewhat challenging, but not overly difficult. Hello? Hi, is this Isaac? Yes. Who is this? May I ask who's calling? Hi, uh, this is Karen Franklin. My mom goes to the gym with your mom. And, well, your mom told my mom that you just lost a lot of weight and we're looking Look, I, I really appreciate that, and I'm sure you are the most beautiful girl in the world, but I, um... No, I, I, I get it. I, I just thought that it could be kind of fun, the whole blindy thing. I have a lot of hanging skin. Mom, if you ever have another girl call me, I will light my apartment on fire and you won't hear from me again until you get my obituary in the mail. Thomas, I want to go on a date. Then why'd you tell that girl no? Because I don't want to go out with some girl named Karen Franklin who knows my mom. Okay. I just want to go into the world and ask somebody out. Don't you think I'm approachable? 
I think you need to call that girl back. I am skinny now. I'm the skinniest boy in the whole world. And I deserve a date. I deserve to go into the world and ask somebody out and go to a cool bar and have finger foods. You do deserve that. Thank you. So, who are you taking on this grand date? This girl. This beautiful blonde girl that's always at the park. You don't think she has a boyfriend? I don't know. I'm going to be Taylor Swift fearless about it, and I'm going to ask her out, and we are going on a date. What if she says no? Why would you say that? I'm just trying to play the devil's advocate. Thomas, I used to hide Skittles in my coat pockets. I don't need anyone to do that for me. You know what? You're right. She's going to say yes. You're going to go out, you're going to get married, and you're going to be happy forever and ever. You are such a monster. Why are we even friends? Remember in the 8th grade when Mandy Hoskins told you to stay away from her because you smell like roast beef? And you looked at her and yelled, What is it like to be named after a disease? And then turned her milk over? Yes. That is why we are friends. How do you even remember these things? You guys need to try that new place, Athens Palace. It has one dollar sign on Yelp, four and a half stars, and if you check in on Foursquare, you get a free baklava! Hi. Hi. I run in this park every day. You sit on the side every day. You block a lot of kids from sliding. I find it calming. Um, uh, okay. Have you ever seen me before? Yes. I've lost a lot of weight recently. Yes, you have. Will you go on a date with me? No. Okay, in my head that was a no-brainer. Like, I ask you out, you say yes, we go to like a cool bar, finger foods. I don't know you. Why would I want to go on a date with you? I don't need you to be rational right now. You don't even know my name. I could be homeless. I could have false teeth. You don't have false teeth. You don't know that. Okay, what if I sit and talk to you for a little while? Then will you go on a date with me? No, who are you? Never mind. This is such a stupid idea.